everyone. Greetings from 2K Sports. Get DA. Kevin, thank you. He is indeed, DA. Thank you. And the starting lineup for the Pelicans. Ingram the three and Zion the four. Lonzo Ball out there at Bloodsome. And it's Adams in at the five, roaming the paint. And for the Kings, Heald and Barnes are the two and the three. Marvin Bagley is out there with Holmes. And it's Fox in at the one spot. Now here's Bloodsoe. Tonight, lots of youth and energy on the floor. Brent, what kind of game do you expect to see? Highlights, Kevin, mixed in with a few lowlights. Uh, just guys getting ahead of themselves and speeding themselves up. But sometimes those can be exciting, especially for, for fans who have really good seats. Keep your hands up. Yeah, Zion bringing it right there, crashing the glass, and relentless energy to get the ball. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. And so it's ball with it. He brings it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. And starting at really from when he was born, Williamson has been slated for greatness. Well, when your parents name you after Mount Zion, which is the highest point in ancient Jerusalem, there might be some blessings coming your way. And Fox gets it to go. Well, Fox trying to work on that outside jump shot, become more consistent. Nice bucket there. Bloodsoe outside. Here's Williamson. The shot misses. And the Kings going the other way now. There's 48 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Three-pointer heel. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Still the strongest part of Buddy Heald's game. He is a lethal shooter. What a perfect stroke that was. Bloodsoe outside. 13 feet away. And it's Williamson missing. Kings have gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. Barnes can't get it to go. The Pelicans have gone 2 of 5 here, making 40% so far to start out the game. With some arc. Outside for Bloodsoe. Ingram outside. Another shot. He doesn't hit that one. And so the first quarter is in the books. It's Sacramento up by five. And we'll be back with you right after this. Rest in peace to the mom and baby GG. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And what do you guys think about the Kings here in this one so far? Well, they've been aggressive from the beginning, particularly on the offensive end. Well, if they wanted to start well, this would be it. They seized momentum right away, and they just didn't let it go in that quarter. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, as the second quarter gets going. So for New Orleans right now, Jackson Hayes is out there with Hernan Gomez. And it's Alexander Walker into the two-guard spot. Beyond the arc, gets the three-pointer to fall. You know, maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot that he could afford to give him. And one of the more unsung players included in the Anthony Davis trade, Josh Hart just continues to impress when given the opportunity. A very much high-character, hard-working player and a lot more substance to his game. I also think it's interesting that in that deal, he came along with Lonzo Ball. So the two of them together accepting this new opportunity within the same roles for a new team. Got that one up quick. Davis has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Pelicans trail by six. We play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. Hurt. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Yeah, why well, settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that? And it's Whiteside off the drive. Well, he's a guy they count on to produce from the mid range. He doesn't miss too many open looks from there. Here's Hart. Pass to Hernan Gomez. And it's Whiteside with the rebound. Passes to Halliburton. 
Let's the three fly. Sinks the three-pointer. Nice awareness from Whiteside there, understanding where his teammates were on that possession. Takes a three. And the last shot of the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And so it's Sacramento. Bring the... The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each. A pretty close game for the Kings throughout the first quarter. At its highest, their lead topped out at five. And that's going to do it for us. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. Kings leading now by seven. Back to the point with Heel to his side. They're the backcourt. Barnes and Bagley, the duo with the forward. And it's Holmes in at the five. Down low. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. Greg, last year, Williamson entered the NBA as one of the most well-known rookies since LeBron James. Already had millions of followers on social media. Global name recognition. He has an above-the-rim game that produces the kinds of highlights that people want to see. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for the Pelicans. Shot's good by Bledsoe. And this is where Lonzo Ball gets you excited. As a teammate, he's going to get you the ball. Sacramento's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Down low. Here's Holmes. And he makes good on the layup. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Well, just ripping through right there as he, he finds the open spot and gets right through there. High basketball IQ play. Here's Ingram. Banked in off the glass. Ingram's got four points in the quarter. And I like that they're not settling. Getting the ball on the interior. Eight of their last ten coming that way. The pass to Barnes. Back to Fox. Here's the three. Hits the three-point bomb. Fox has got six. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Floats it up for Williamson. An emphatic LU jam. Well, I like it when he goes vertical, but I like it when he stays there. How about Zion getting up? Over to the wing. Here's Fox. And another three for Sacramento. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Now here's Ingram. Six points for him. Fires from deep. Adams. And it's Adams on the follow. Adams has got his first bucket in this one. And Steven Adams just a wrecking ball down there with his size and strength on the offensive glass. The third quarter comes to a close. Kings lead by five. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling right here on 2K Sports. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed, and you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Well, sometimes that's what can separate some of the best players, not just creating for yourself, but creating for others as well. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. On the court for the Pelicans, getting the fourth quarter going. Ingram the three and Zion the four. Hart is out there with ball, and it's Hayes in at the center position. Pelicans trail by three. Hart, that's good. Can't afford these defensive breakdowns, especially down the stretch. Yeah, breakdowns like this are only going to hurt you moving forward and late in the game. Establish some trust and make the defense come together. If you came to watch a scoring battle, you're in the right place. Well, both of these teams locked in on the offensive end. Going to be a high-scoring affair tonight. Rashawn Holmes, he's checked in for Buddy Heal. Well, Fox had quite a year in Kentucky before he decided to turn pro and became the fifth pick in 2017 in the NBA draft. 
Here's Fox. That one doesn't drop. So the Pelicans will take it the other way to take the lead, and the jumper falls for him. And it's eight points for Brandon Ingram. Well, the defense has to do a better job, but when Brandon Ingram is on the break, those strides, man, he takes up a lot of ground. A three from Barnes. And going out of bounds, last touch by Barnes. Some changes for New Orleans. Adams comes in for Jackson Hayes. Eric Ludsoe is subbed in for Josh Hart. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. The, the defensive awareness, the timing, when you have to face a defender that can reject you like that, it can alter your approach. Good! Remember that one. Guys, a difference maker. I'm wondering, is that the biggest shot of the game? I'm out called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. They're behind by one. There's 42 seconds left in the fourth. And now we present our New Balance player of the game, De'Aaron Fox. Yeah, and his percentage from the field tonight seems almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting the basketball. You, you need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, and a whole lot of talent. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Well, during that last break, Kevin, we got a chance to hear what Stan Van Gundy told the team. He told them to stick with it. He said, this game is right here, guys. This is our game to take. Precision, purpose, and poise. Kevin, we'll see if they can get it done. Timeout called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. They trail by one. 26 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Sacramento on defense. They lead by one to the inside. Adams. Count it! We'll see if they can finally hold on to a lead. It's been back and forth all night. Well, you can tell they really want to increase this lead. They can't keep letting them take it from them. Timeout called by the Kings. They're down by one. 20 seconds left in the game. Guys, what's your take? Yeah, always intriguing to see what a coach draws up in this situation. And sometimes not just what a coach draws up, but who he has execute in these moments. Heel can't hit. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. Five seconds left to play here in the fourth. And now we've got the intentional foul. Good on the first, and that will put them up by two. And Lonzo Ball, we know, prefers to set up his teammates and also play stifling defense. What we'd love to see is more consistency in scoring the ball. Huge free throws, bumps the lead up to three, and now they simply have to guard against the three ball. Timeout called by the Kings. They're trailing by three. Five seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? And with this much time, they should be able to drop a play and get themselves a decent look from the three-point line. Still, the D is going to be waiting for it in a contested three. Never an easy shot. So it's a narrow victory for New